Hello all. Uh, apologies again for the uh, noise here. I still haven't gotten around to uh, replacing uh, my broken microphone. So I'm using the USB camera microphone. So uh, lots of background noise. So I want to, I decided to make a short video on Firefox. If you use that as your browser um, in whatever platform, I'm using uh, obviously a PC and uh, desktop. And uh, Arch Linux in this case, or this some well, well this is working if you're using Windows as well. Um, just the uh, some of the things that Mozilla has uh, been working on, and some of the changes it's made. Some stuff I like, and stuff some stuff um, not so much. So to get that brand new out of box experience, I'm going to open my uh, home folder, unhide. And I don't suggest to do this without making a backup, but I don't really care because I know I know I have stuff memorized. So the dot Mozilla folder right here, I'm just going to press Shift and Delete, and we'll just uh, put things back to the way they were, and we'll uh, launch Firefox and get that brand new out of box experience. <laughs> and that's nice, but I just go. I just either I just close this tab and uh, first thing I do is uh, go to uh, preferences and I like to have a blank page so this has nothing to do with uh, any changes to the browser you could, you've all been able to do this I just like to have a blank just I don't know, save time it makes it a little faster however under search, I uncheck that, I put this back to Google, and untick all these search providers. So that's step one of that. So under just under preferences, privacy, uh, you can you know do what you wish. I usually uh, like to clear the cache and keep the uh, cookies and site preferences I leave. And under advanced smooth scrolling if you have middle mouse you can scroll up and down With that uh, search as you type untick enable health report sorry guys but I just I don't know I just like to have it minimal and we'll just close this and restart Firefox All right, so we have a nice blank page. So let's search for Arch Linux. Ugh, no thanks. And let's open a new tab. Okay, I don't like this either, either personally. So this button here, you know, uh, I put that as blank. All right, so um, to fix this, if you if you like this, that's fine, right? Um, the one click searches, but I personally don't like that. So we always have about config, and I'm sure uh, anybody that's hasn't liked this have probably found this on the internet anyway. So uh, in any case, if we haven't, I'll uh, just step through that. So um, just some notes uh, that I made. I do this. Uh, the reason I do this is well for video. It's a lot quicker. And also for my reference to when I uh, install an operating system, either on uh, my computer or through a virtual machine. So, excuse me about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> excuse me. Um, so about config in your address bar, and then you want to filter browser search show one off buttons. Okay, so under that, you see here, I just double click to toggle that to false. All right. And while I'm in here, I filter click. Uh, the reason I do that is I like to have, like when I single click in the address bar or the search over here, just, just to have it to highlight instead of double clicking. I just like single click. So if you like that behavior, now the browser URL bar I click select all, I toggle that double click to true, so single click in the address bar. And finally backspace, 
Uh, enter, double click that, and then just uh, put a zero, number, the, uh, number zero, and uh, so you can use the backspace button on the keyboard, and another restart of Firefox. Alright, so now we have, uh, we should be able to just type in, there we go, in the search box here. Uh, Google, and you start typing Arch Linux, it doesn't do an autocomplete or suggestions or anything. Personally, I like it that way. Now, as far as search engines go, um, completely up to you. I go to Manage Search Engines, and I get more search engines online. So, I'm going to take you to the Mozilla Add-ons page. I just start uh, typing Encrypted. I don't know how much good it does, but you can get Google Encrypted. And add the Firefox, and you make it your current search engine. Add, and then back to manage the search engines. Then I just remove these, because I don't use them. And move up. And that's it. So when you do a, a Google encrypted search, for what, it, for what it's worth, Arch Linux. Uh, you see it's HTTPs, it's the .com, which is kind of neat, and uh, you go down to the bottom, it says unknown precise location, even though it knows where you are, but uh, like I said, for what it's worth anyway. Uh, uh, for add-ons, I like to have the uh, bottom bar down here, just to have more real estate on the browser. So. You can uh, search for add-on bar, zoom in on that, and there it is. It doesn't require a restart, so, restart, so you just click install, and you have preferences, but it's, uh, you can see, once you restart the browser, it actually looks like it's a, once you restart the browser or start adding, customizing, uh, it should, uh, Kicking, if you like that behavior. And, uh, really simple ad blocker. It's called Fire, Firewall. And, Spell Checker. United States Spell. Should come back to the result. And, there it is. Install. Okay, so you open the tab. And there's this one. And customize. Uh, yeah. As you can see here, we have the little add on bar. So there isn't much. I usually take this, drag it down here, and move the home button over here, for example. There we go. And uh, whatever else you want. So that, that's basically all I do. Uh, just to, to customize Firefox and some of the things uh, that they've implemented that I'm not too much really a fan of, but uh, overall, I, I think the browser's uh, much, much more responsive than it used to be, and uh, um, no crashes. And I think if you go to YouTube, for example, Again, those search suggestions, uh, youtube.com, uh, whatever videos. Uh, let's search for my channel. Uh, turn this down, it might be loud. Okay, so it's playing in HTML5. So if it doesn't, you can go to youtube.com slash zoom in here. HTML, excuse me, HTML5. Uh, just request that. And it should play most videos now in HTML5 instead of Flash. If you want to use Flash, it's uh, up to you. You might still have to use it depending on what your uh, needs are from the browser. Okay, so that should do it. Uh, just my some of my thoughts on the Firefox web browser that comes with a lot of Linux distros by default, and 
I think it's a great browser. And just some of the things that I like to do to uh, customize it, basically. Okay, so if you're watching this, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.